Look at the graph of sine of x. It is clear that this function is not one-to-one. -one. Suitable restriction of the domain can make it a one-to-one -one function. The domain will be restricted to the closed interval from negative pi over 2 to pi over 2. The red part is the graph of sine of x in the closed interval from negative pi over 2 to pi over 2. Note that the range is still the closed interval from negative 1 to 1. As this function is 1 to 1, the inverse function can be found. The inverse function to the sine is called arcus sine, abbreviated to arc sine. After changing letters, we obtain y equals arcus sine of x. The domain of the inverse function is the closed interval from negative 1 to 1, and the range is the closed interval from negative pi over 2 to pi over 2. Now we draw the graph of this function, making use of the fact that the graphs of the function and its inverse are symmetrical about the line y equals x.